Hi learners, welcome to my channel Data Science University with MLU Prasad. The agenda for today's video is Project 2 Panda Sleet Code Type Easy Question 1050 Actors and Directors who cooperated at least three times. The GitHub link for the solution is provided in the description below. You can join my Telegram and LinkedIn page community for further updates and discussion. Scan here to join the communities. The links are also provided in the video description. Now let's solve together the problem. Okay, they have given the question and they have given some actors director table. Okay, this actor ID is some ID for each actor and this is the director having some unique IDs. Let us say they have done some movie. Whenever they done a movie, they have given some timestamp. Okay, we don't care about that. It can be anything. Okay. Now write a solution to find all pairs. They're saying pairs means the combination of actors and director's ID where the actor has cooperated with the director at least at least means what greater than or equal to three times. Okay, let me come here. So let us see. Okay, how many actors are there? Actor one, actor two. How many directors are there? Director one, director two. Okay. How many combinations are there? You can see. This is one combination. One one one. This is one combination. One two. This is combination two one. So what are the total combinations? One one. 1, 2, 2, 1. Okay. Now, how many combinations movie came here? 3 movies. Here, 2 movies. Here, 2 movies. Okay. So, this is the combination pairs and their number of respective movies. Okay. But the question is what? How many times who are the actor and director who have cooperated at least greater than or equal to three? This is greater than or equal to three? No, two. It is false. It is two. False. It is equal to three. So this is three. So only this condition is being satisfied. Okay. So what is the actor ID and director ID? It is one, one. Okay. So what we need to do? Step one. We need to group by group by actor id director id okay and get the count of rows so this will give me this one 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 three one one two two one two okay what is the second step filter for the count of rows greater than or equal to three okay this will give me the first choice answer okay and what is the final step? Select only the two columns. Step three would be select actor ID column and director ID column. Okay. Let us code it down. Let us say DF is equal to actor director dot group by we have a group of columns actor id comma director id okay and let us get the count of rows dot size will be giving me the count of rows so as it is a group by object returning a series i don't want that what i want i want a written name as a data frame so either i can use dot to frame or we can reset the index. So we can see here 1, 1, 3, 1, 1, 2, so on. Let me give a name for this. Name is equal to CT rows. It is count of rows. You can see 1, 1, 3 times, 1, 2, 2 times, 2, 1, 2 times. Okay, our step 1 is done. What is the step 2? Step 2 is filtering for 
CT rows column is greater than or equal to 3. Okay, we have filtered the table. Okay. Now, what is the final step? Selecting only the actor ID. Actor ID, comma, directory. Let me check for the sample test case. It was been accepted. Let me check for all the test case by submitting. Okay, our step one, step two, step three procedure has successfully passed all the test cases. We have solved the problem. And if you want code solution for this, it will be available in this GitHub repository. The link will be provided in the description below. If you are further interested in learning data science, data analytics, machine learning, NLP, computer vision, generative AI stuff, please fill in the Google form which is provided in the description below. My team will be reaching out to you. And if you are preparing for any data science interview, you can follow along my playlist for lead code for Pandas and DZ. Everything is provided in a structured format. And if you have any other further questions or doubts regarding the problem which you have solved, please use the hashtag AskAmelioPersal in the comment section. I will be solving your queries. Okay. Until then, keep learning guys.